I had several teachers that I just ultimately loved. And it really started in kindergarten with my um, kindergarten teacher. And I loved Mrs. Fisher and Mrs. Tyler because they team taught. And you got a nice balance between the two personalities. And the creativity part of putting things together and having all these wonderful things that imitate life at home. And you got a chance to really contemplate what it would be like to buy your own little groceries and put together wonderful little uh, blocks and whatever, and the huge crayons and all that. So I already kind of got latched on. These people are trying to give me something that I really want. And then from there, of course, in uh, high school, I loved um, gymnastics and everything like that, but I couldn't really participate in all of it. was a cheerleader, but basically uh, we had wonderful teachers in uh, elementary school. And my particular one, Mrs. Doris B. Diggs, oh my goodness, this woman, because of her love for English and having the ability to impart it, uh, gave me a sense of confidence that I could get everything that she was giving me. But I didn't really get that in math. But my ability to absorb what and how the teacher presented it to me in English, I was able to outscore on my test so high until it sort of nullified that math, low math kind of a thing. So yes, Doris B. Diggs, and of course, uh, Kenneth Brown Billups with the a cappella choir at Southern High School. And then at the Art Institute, where I attended Kansas City Art Institute, Dale Eldred, who's now passed away, but this man, incredible Olympic star is what he was. He did the catapult and the javelin throw. Um, and he was an architect. And this big man who taught sculpture took this little black woman under his wing and taught me things about uh, reading prints and uh, as it relates to architectural prints and, and drafting. And he just made me feel like he thought that I could do anything. And I said, yes, I can, you know? And he brought over uh, Ted Cole, who was the uh, then curator for 20th Century Art at the Kemper Gallery, Kansas City Art uh, Museum. And he talked to all of us. And because Dale Eldred brought him over to talk to all of us, I got a chance to ask him about my artwork and what he thought about it. And he kind of gave me what I consider my wings. That man said to me, you don't need to go any further, because I wanted to know, do I have to get a master's degree? Do I have to do that? He said, what you need to do, young lady, is continue to do this work. And he was pointing at everything that I had revealed to him. All you have to do is continue to do this. And he was right. I came home, and because of Dale Eldred's pushing and and, 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 and concern for me, and I could feel it. You can feel when people care about you or they're just getting their job done. And because this man cares for me enough to give me all of the subtle nuances that you're supposed to have, and then the wonderful um, ambience of an array of other teachers and other people br bringing those people around me, it gave me my wings, you know, actu actually. So he is also right at the top of the list. And like I said before, he passed away. And, Man, I'm glad I got to be a part of his life and have him as a part of my 